DXB. It's in the game. Hey guys, it's me Ben, back with another review for bxbgames.co.uk and today I am looking at Kingdom New Lands. Kingdom New Lands is a curious little experience. It's um, all on this sort of side-scrolling 2D plane uh, and all interactions are very simple, basically to do with the monetary system in the game which you can see I'm playing around here. Now this video is captured very early on in the game um, and me, on my, on my steed, I am the monarch of this new land eponymous new land as it were uh, and uh, you basically have gold in this game and everything all your interactions are based around the kind of the basic economy of the game um, so as you explore you find gold and then as you build your settlement and um, you know build up your kingdom uh, you get gold from other various means um, but I don't kind I kind of don't want to give too much away because Kingdom New Lands is very much a game focused on exploration and discovery it's while presented in this very simplistic 2D manner, there are a lot of mechanics going on behind the scenes here, and there's a lot of things to discover about the interactions between you, the environment, the enemies, the creatures, uh, and how you can interact with your settlement and your kingdom, and how you can build it up over time, uh, and survive the onslaughts that sometimes come at night, and the various things that the environment can throw at you. Um, I think that's what the charm is about this game. It's quite beguiling. It, there's a melancholy feel to it. At times, the extremely simplistic um, aesthetics of this sort of pixel art get a, they wear a little thin. Um, I think in general, this art style, you know, the idea of like let's do a throwback, and you know, while I understand it's more accessible and easier to do for a developer, I do sometimes miss sort of other quirky visual styles that you don't necessarily see from indie developers now. Pixel art is very in and very cool and uh, obviously easier to develop and create because it's obviously a less of an artistic strain and one of the hardest things as a creator I could tell you be it fiction or games or any form of media comics you name it the hardest thing to do in the world is get a good artist on board uh, somebody who you can rely on and who will be able to uh, stick to your schedules and you know not flake out on you and disappear um, so I know it's difficult to maybe nail somebody down of a really sort of you can try and make something in Unreal or something or Crikey, the Crytek engine or something like that, you know, you're really asking a lot of someone and a large time commitment. So, you know, relying on pixel art is somewhat easier. And I think Kingdom, art, uh, Kingdom New Lands uh, does a good job with its visuals, and I think it does lend itself to the sort of the moody, somewhat sort of downbeat vibe in the game. At first, there's a great sense when you're playing this game, when you first start playing it, you're just sort of going, what is this? What is this experience? And then slowly over time, it, it, you know, the realization dawns on you what you're playing and what you're trying to achieve, um, it has a relaxed feel to it, though at times it's incredibly stressful and incredibly uh, difficult, but those moments sort of creep up on you a little bit and, and surprise you. Um, but I think the basic gameplay loop is quite satisfying, and there is a sense of uh, exploration and discovery that just permeates the entire experience and makes it quite unique and different and uh, enjoyable in a certain way. You know, I, I found myself being able to relax while playing this, though, like I said, at times, it could be really, really tough. So I think I would recommend Kingdom New Lands, especially at this time of year. If you're looking for a little break, a bite-sized experience, you can pick up and play. And, you know, it's got that roguelike element of the permadeath stuff where you can just, you know, start up a new world and try again with the things you've learned. And if you're looking for something to, to palette cleanse when you're sick of your Call of Duties or your Battlefield 1s or what other big AAA games are coming out this year, this would be a good game for that. You know, it's a, I'm reviewing it on Xbox, but it's out there on, I think, or PlayStation and PC as well. And uh, I think it's worth checking out and giving, giving it a little look. So I give uh, Kingdom New Lands a very solid, respectable 3 out of 5 stars. DXB. It's in the game.